I love using Kittle. There's so many different templates and artistic elements inside of Kittle. But one of the things you may get hung up on is the layers panel and how you can take advantage of it. So let's create a new project over on the right hand side. I'm going to click on new project and I'm just going to pick a standard artboard 1200 by 1200. And then here we've got our artboard. I'm going to just make the background color just a bit darker so that we can see it easily. And I'm going to start making a design. So what I would recommend you do is pay attention over on the bottom right to the layers panel. So one of the things that you can do is let's say you want to add in a basic shape and I'm going to put it here at the top. Now as you build your design out, you may accidentally click this and move it and that can be a bit annoying. Maybe that's not what you want. So instead, we're going to lock this into place. And what you can do is in the layers panel down below, when I click on it, you're going to see a basic shape that shows up. Well, that's our rectangle. So I'm going to double click that and I'm going to type in the word rectangle. And then from here, there's a little lock button. It's on the far right hand side. And when I click on it, it actually locks this now into place. I'm clicking all over and I can't move this rectangle at all. Another thing you can do is group things. And so I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to type in the word flowers and we're going to get back some flowers here. I'm going to click on this one and I can just duplicate this by holding down the alt key. I could make four of these, for example, just very quickly. So now I've got four. Now let's say I want to place these very specifically on my design right uh, here, for example. Now you'll notice on the layers panel down below, we have four illustrations and we can toggle these on and off. So if you're working on a relatively complicated design and you want to get near one of the flowers and you keep clicking on it accidentally, you can just turn off the visibility. You'll notice this one is the fourth one down. This flower is the first one and this one is the one on the bottom left is the third one. So what you can do is you can just toggle this layer off. You can just turn off the visibility and now you can work away in here and you'll notice I can't actually click on it basically gone for all intents and purposes. And when I click on the little eyeball, it comes back. So you don't need to move these off and then work away. You can just leave it exactly where you'd like and simply just click the off button, which is the little eyeball. That's a nice feature as well. Now, if you're happy with where you've placed these images, what you can do is you can merge all of them together. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to click all four images now. So I've got them all together and I'm going to right click and I'm going to click group. And now you'll notice over on the right hand side on the layers panel, we've got a new group that I can expand and that includes the four flowers. So what I would recommend if you're making progressively more complicated designs for your own sanity, go in and double click on these layers and type in the words. So for example, this is the top left flower. So I'm going to say top left. This one is the bottom left flower. So I'm going to type in flower bottom left and we've got flower bottom right and then we have flower top right and then you can just close this out and you can even rename the group by just typing in the word say flowers for example. So now I've got flowers a folder and I can see that those are all grouped in together. That's a really nice feature because you can just move them around now as if they were one image. And again, if you don't want to move it, then what you can do is over on the right hand side, click the lock button. And now everything is locked into place. You've basically created a background that you can't really modify. And that's perfect if that's what you want. If you're working on the design and the layers panel disappears, simply just click the layers panel on the bottom right, click it and it'll pop up. And then if you want to get rid of the layers panel, there's a little X button on the far right hand side that gets rid of it or you can simply click the layers panel, the same button to activate it, just click it again and it disappears. You can also move things above and below different objects. So I'm gonna click on this flower pot. We're gonna see it pops up. I'm gonna make it nice and big and we might wanna have that right in the middle and on top of our design. Now, if you want to move this down a layer, like in behind the flowers, you can do so. You just click on the illustration layer and you can drag the illustration layer down below and you'll see now it's in behind the flowers. Even with the flowers locked, you can move it in behind. I could even move it in behind the rectangle if I wanted. I can drag it down and it'll go now in behind the rectangle. So it's pretty easy to do. Just hold it and slowly drag it up or slowly drag it down and you'll see that it goes above or below the layers as needed. So look, everybody learns differently and I think a really neat way that you can learn something is you can scroll through the different Kittle designs and find something that looks relatively complicated. Here's one, it says Spooky Vibes Halloween and when I click on it, you'll see this is a great looking design. There's, a, there's text, there's different layers and I'm gonna click use this design. 
And then what you can do is click on the layers panel over on the bottom right and you can see how the different layers come into play. Is there anything that's locked? Is there anything that's visible or not visible? So for example, this text here at the bottom, you can simply toggle it on and off. You can toggle any of this on and off. There's like little tweaks to a really good design. So for example, this illustration hat is sitting over the spooky vibes and it's just that one piece. So if you were to click off all the other pieces, you can see exactly how these designs are made by simply toggling the visibility on and off. I think that's really neat. And of course, when I click on the text, you'll see the text effects comes up as well. So this can be a really nice way that you can kind of reverse engineer the way really good designs look. If you've got your own idea, you don't need to be intimidated. You can look at these designs and go, huh, that's how they did it. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I absolutely love using Kittle. One of the things I love is that it's easy to use and you can spend more time designing and less time worrying about the technicalities on how things work. Simply click, move, and simply click, and you can modify. I think it's a really useful, great, great tool. You can have a lot of fun too. I'll put a link to Kittle in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on the link, I would receive a small commission. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphics design journey using the powers of Kittle.